to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. In this weird, wannabe, outrageous social media culture that we have nowadays, sometimes getting two people to agree to anything feels damn near impossible. So I have to give it up to our old buddy, Big Rammy, who just managed to eclipse the 2 million follower mark on his Instagram. Because the fact that he can get 2 million people to buy into his brand tells you something about how special this guy is. Never mind the fact that he's a generational talent or that he has one of the most unique looks in bodybuilding history. The way Rammy's conducted his business both on and off the stage since day one is the real story here. Because this guy has been true, a true class act that is, from the jump. And even if he decides today that he was never going to compete again, I think his legacy is something that will continue to live long after his career is over. How's that old saying go again? He who fails to plan, plans to fail? Well, Josh Wade's planned to be ready a week early for his season debut at the New York Pro. How many guys in this year's show do you think can do that? According to Josh, one of the things he's really been working on this year has been his V-taper which should help give him a great illusion of size when he puts it all together. So I guess a few days from now we'll get to find out if the plan worked, because this year's lineup is shaping up to be a great one. Newsflash, bikini star Jen Ronzitti says that she's slowly chipping away day by day, heading towards her best shape ever. The former Bikini Olympia runner-up has been relatively quiet up to this point in the season, but I have a feeling That'll be changing here pretty soon based on the way she's starting to hit her stride. Over the past two seasons, Ron Zitties looked like she was unbeatable at different points in time. So if he gets that look going again at the right time, who knows how high her ceiling may be. The older I get, the more I'm starting to enjoy rooting for new athletes in bodybuilding to have success at some of these major shows because I think it makes the sport more exciting. So if you need some new blood to get excited about for this weekend's New York Pro, you're in luck. Because Robin Strand might be your guy. The former Canadian national champ is slated to make his pro debut this weekend, where he'll be shoulder to shoulder with some of the best in the business on one of the biggest stages in bodybuilding. Whether or not the rookie is ready for his primetime debut pretty much is always a toss-up, and I don't think Strand is any exception here. But if the kid gets it going, you never know what sort of damage he might be able to do. It doesn't matter whether you sprint, jog, walk, or run. At the end of the day, all that matters is that you finish the race and beat the man in the mirror. And based on everything I've been seeing lately, classic physique star Steve Lorius is doing exactly that. Despite a solid start to the contest season, Lorius seems like he's shifted gears back into full off-season mode so he can keep leveling out his weaknesses one by one, which is exactly what you have to do when you're playing the long game. Lorius is a guy who obviously has a ton of talent already, but it's the work ethic that separates him from the rest of the pack, because all you can do is keep on grinding. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.